Hello, friends, and welcome to Let's Play Pepe Saw Game. I'm your host, Magic Man Mo. I had to look this up. I've got a screen over here. Uh, Pepe. Oh, God. God darn it. Got, uh, no, my, my record. No, get out of the way thing. I've got a thing over here. I had to look up who Pepe, uh, Mujica is. And apparently, he's the, he's a Uruguayan politician who served as the 40th president of Uruguay from 2010 to 2015. And that is just a, I didn't do a lot of research into who this was, but I was like, who's Pepe? I want to know who this character is. So he's a Uruguayan politician. Now you know. Let's begin, shall we? The evil puppet has kidnapped Pepe Mujica and is forcing him to play his evil game. And by doing so, Pepe will have to prove he's worthy of being an Inca Games character. Help him pass all the tests safe and sound. It's one of those Inca Games games that we've played so very many times on the show, on the channel. Uh, point and click adventure type character. Like the, 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 this evil pig sidekick character is leaving us a. a letter of some kind in our mail. <laughs> oh, I think I've heard something. He's got some chickens, a dog, he's got this little garden. You got a nice little ranch style house. Now what do we got here? A letter. Look at the letter. Dear Pepe, you'll have a little surpri <laughs> surprise in 3, 2, 1. 30 minutos después. Should I say 30 and sp 20? 20 minutos. Where am I? How did I get here? Why are my eyes bloodshot red? Hey, Pepe. Hang on a second, I know you. You are Pigsaw, the evil villain on IncaGames.com. Can you explain to me why it is that I'm here? I think this is a misunderstanding. Come down, Pepe. I'll explain everything. Just relax and listen. I've followed your actions for quite a while now, and I have to say you are a non-typical person, and that's why I'm interested in you. You grow flowers, don't like luxuries, speak your mind no matter what, admire the nature, and love the animals. It sounds like a cool guy. <laughs> and what surprised me the most, colon, you drive a 1987 Volkswagen. Some would say you are crazy, but I can assure that it's envy mixed up with admiration. After analyzing you, I wanted to kidnap you to make you play my game, but there was a little problem. I didn't have a reason to punish you. Well, I'm, I'm a pretty cool guy. That solves the misunderstanding, now let me go. There's clearly no reason for me to be here. Not so fast. A few days ago, I heard Inca Games had picked you up as a character for their adventures. Uh, so? I've got many hobbies. What about it? That's the motive I needed to make you play! <laughs> you see, the adventures of Inca games are not easy. You have to be very clever to come out ahead. So I said to myself, what a better way to prove if Pepe is really worthy of being a regular character of these adventures than surviving one of my games. Gasp! And that's why I'm gonna force you to play my game. As a test of worth. And if I refuse? You have no choice. You'd stay locked up in here forever. Simple as that. Well, I'll tell you the rules. You are locked inside this place with many rooms ahead of you. Your objective is to find a way out and escape. Needless to say that in some rooms there are deadly traps and dangerous villains. Although I think you already knew that. Win or lose, make your choice. Okay. Well, let's escape from here as soon as possible. I need to get back to my to, to my home and, and, and play with my dog and garden my... What, what, what was it? Like tomatoes or something? Garden my tomatoes. All right, we've got a map. Okay, we've got a map and everything. Let's start by going down first. Let's explore the down... Oh, ladder. I will take a ladder. Let me get my ladder, son. Okay, and... Oh, I have to do something for... What? It's a bucket. I want I want to pick up the bucket. Of all the things that I've ever put into my pocket in one of these games, a bucket. Just can't do it. Can't put a bucket in my pocket. <laughs> I've got a whole ladder. Okay, sure. Why not? I, I think it might be a pot for... I bet we're going to plant a flower or something. I bet we need to get some dirt and some water. Oh, hello. That's a pear. A, a pear is going to eat me. In these cases, it's good to know that mutant tomatoes like ketchup. That's not a tomato. It's not a tomato. It's a pear. <laughs> um, so we need ketchup. Sure, why not? We'll go back up this way and go to the right. Oh, we've got a water gun. So far, my uh, growing of the plants might very well be a thing. We've got some Acme. 
quick drying cement. And what is this, a tomahawk? An Apache hammer. Okay. And we peek through this hole. I'm guessing it looks at those veggies. Um, and we might have to do some uh, un tomate mutante, a mutant tomato. Un pera mutante. Is that how you say pear? Para? Awesome. I'm learning things. Un platano mutante. I knew all these words except para. And literally pear in Spanish is para. That's the one I didn't know and it's almost not even changed. Got it. Um, Still need, like, ketchup or something. Maybe an Apache hammer. Can I just stick it through the hole and, like, try to, try to swing wildly at the tomato? Okay, we'll go down here for now. Uh, there's a tiger asleep in his cage and a basketball that I guess I want. But we clearly can't get inside if we wanted to. So I'm going to go down here. Oh, oh, we've got an Apache headdress. An Apache hat, I suppose. Uh, we might be doing some sort of... I, I remember, I don't remember, I think this was in a Chris Angel one where uh, we used a, an Apache hat and tomahawk or something to do like a rain dance. We've got an empty matchbox so I can light my match. Yes, we've done this before. I'm going to peek in this hole before I go into the door. Ah, okay, this is the other side with the Platano Mutante, uh, the mutant banana. He's kind of rotted. He's got these black spots. I'm kind of worried for him. Uh, don't... So if a tomato doesn't like ketchup, what does a banana not like? I don't know. I'm going to continue to explore before I try anything. It's an alien! No! Well, I, I'm, I'm a goner. I am acid. I That would keep going through the floor in the original movie. That that acid just doesn't... I, if you've seen the movie, like, his spit is, like, acid, and it, like, suck, like, 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 burns its way through solid metal, like steel. And I'm like, when would it stop? If you spat that on the ground, would it just go until it hit the core of the earth? Or does it get, like, diluted? Does it dissipate? The only way to defeat the alien is to deceive another villain. Oh. We might have to lure an unloaded water gun. We might have to, like, lure the banana to go fight the, 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 the alien. That might be a thing. But we haven't explored everything yet. Let's go this way for now. Oh, who are you? Um, before we speak to whoever you are, I'm going to pick up this piece of paper. What's it say? 8921. Okay. There's a code. Kimba Chen. Can we speak to Kimba Chen? Hi, friend. Hey, Pepe. Uh, who are you? What are you doing here, anyway? I'm Kimba Chen, from Colombia. Colombia, nice country, nice places, and warm people. I like Colombia. That's right, Pepe! How did you get to this adventure? I was one of the winners of the comic contest. Ah, that's right. There were several winners. All the comics were cool. Very good. Very well done. Thanks, Pepe. Uh, that flask you're holding looks useful. Could I, uh, borrow it for this adventure? I'm trying to get the heck out of here. You could have it, but first you have to do something for me. Ah, uh, yes, of course. We have to trade. Sure. What is it that you need? I'm not entertained at all. Give me something to cheer me up. How about an unloaded water gun? <laughs> or a tomahawk hammer? I understand. I'll be right back. Uh, there was something else we could say to him. Um, oh, are, are those Michael Jordan shoes? Are you wearing Jordans? I myself am not a collector, but I know some people are. That's right. It's the new bottle with special technology to jump. Oh, cool. Can I borrow them? You could, but there's a little problem. And what is that? They belong to my brother, David. I can't give them to you without his permission. Oh. Well, good for you. Where is your brother? Where is he? In Colombia. Sorry. Oh, that does that, that will be a problem. I see. I think we might have to find a phone or like of some kind, like a cell phone, so they can call his brother. Or um, a Skype message through, like... <laughs> through a computer or something. Uh, I don't think we have anything entertaining that we can trade him for at the moment. Oh, what is this? Oh, I didn't see this. G-I-C-E-F-H-A-C. -E oh, okay. I don't know who she is, but if it's anything like um, Cody Saw Game, we might, like, you know, with the Cody robot, we might have to work together to solve a puzzle. Let's pick up the sand. I don't think I can take that with me. Uh, we might need a bucket or something then with it. What is this? What We've got a... Oh, hello! It's a Sandman! I was not expecting that at all. That was very well done. Sandman is very powerful. Maybe a mix of cleverness and creativity is the right way to solve this. Okay. Oh, oh probably with... 
with water or something. I don't know if the acme. Yeah, I think I need water. His weakness is like water, I think. So let's keep going forward. Who are you? Oh no, you're the predator. We need to get the predator and the alien together. That laser is deadly. Ironically, that laser is the solution to your problems. Ooh, yeah, it would be. It would be the solution to my problems. We just have to figure out how to get. Oh, he, they're in, they're right next to each other. We just have to somehow get his laser to attack the alien. I don't know how to do that yet. Before I worry too much about it, there's one path we haven't gone yet, and that's up here. Oh, La Yorona, Yor Yorona. I don't know who that is, but we're at a puzzle of some kind. G I. So if I can stand on the. Oh, can I click on her? Can I step on one of these? Th oh. Oh, maybe? Oh, God! Oh, Lord! I don't know who... Oh, wait! Yorona, is that the... Is that... Is that the... The... the there's, like, a, an old story about a wife slash mother that for some reason drowns her kids in a river or something and then has regrets and then, like, haunts the place? Is that Yorona? I think I know... Hang on, I gotta look that up. I think I remember Yorona. She's, like, the crying woman or something like that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Mexican folklore... I'm just looking at Wikipedia. Uh... In Mexican folklore, La Llorona, the weeping woman, is a ghost of a woman who lost her children and now cries while looking for them in the river, often causing misfortune to those who are near or hear her. Holy crap, I know that one. I knew that one. <laughs> okay. I what if I stand on the G, the G? Oh. Oh, and then the I? No, she's on the I. Oh, I got to Oh, oh god, what was the We can get this. You have to be quick to quick and precise to pass the test. I didn't know I'd have to be quick. So G C F A, I think. G C F a Ta -da! I don't know why that was a thing that was a strange puzzle but we've got a big mirror and we've got what is this a makeup a holographic disc and the controls to holographic disc and some ketchup so we've got some items I think we can use I think the holograph stuff might be for the alien and predator to get them to fight each other but the ketchup for sure for the tomato however that is going to be the end of this episode if you've enjoyed it so far do all the things but whatever you guys do I want to thank you all so much for watching and until next time it's not goodbye it's see you later a very special thank you to my Patreon supporters, Alex Duquette and Blazebat. You have my undying love.